What you doing now, Dave? Well, a couple subscribers on the YouTube channel said that uh, sticky brace could be due to this this hole here getting corrosion in it. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two KM motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. And all I did was lube it up, but they suggested taking a wire brush and taking out the seal and this pin and get in there real good with a wire brush and clean it up real good and then re-grease it with that uh, uh, silicone grease to keep the calipers from sticking. So, made sense to me. I'll give it a shot. Okay. So, I'm just pushing out the steel pin right now. Or sleeve, I should say. And boy, that thing's tough to move out of there, so I'm thinking they may be right. Yeah, it's kind of gooped up already. Now I want to see about taking the seal out of here. And what do I got to do to do that without destroying it? That seal goes all the way through. It's all a big rubber seal. So these things don't even sit in steel. It's all on rubber. So. Now what? This pin goes all the way through in that rubber seal and this bolt just holds that pin in place. And the fact that the calipers on the rotor keeps it from going side to side from falling off and from coming out. So, I don't know. This up a little bit right here. Is there anything else to check on the calipers? Well, the only other thing would be the piston. This piston in here is sticking, but you know, it's it's. I mean, it's common, but. I don't know about it, but clean that up. And clean this one up. Got me baffled. It'd be uncommon that all four pistons would stick. So that's kind of leading me back to the to the master cylinder. Where's that at? It's inside the coach. Huh. Well, I'll lube all these up and then I'll test the master cylinder see how that goes. For lube. Didn't you do this once already? Yeah. Try not to get it on the threads. Let's squirt some in there. Moving like nobody's business right now. Why do you always cut grass here when I'm trying to record? I don't know. Must be a. They see you coming. Okay. Super Lou. This, which would be this, and this. They're 
loose in there. What you gonna do in there? Uh, I'm gonna take the brake line out of here. If I can get it out. And then hook the compressor to it and charge it with air to see how the brakes are actually working. So you're going to turn the air compressor on. I'm going to spin this wheel. You're going to put the brakes on and see if it stops it? Yep. Okay. I hear a little bit of rubbing. Oh, that's normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, spin easy now? No. Stop. All right. Try spinning it now. Okay. Easy. Okay. Yeah. The next wheel, okay. This one's I can't barely move it. Now it's not at all. This one's hard to move. It doesn't want to spin. Now what? Don't see the calipers clamped on it. I haven't done that one yet. So that tells you the calipers are already clamped on it? Yeah. I haven't done that one yet. That's interesting. That's a good test. So, whatever you did to this one. I'm going to do this one. Here. By the way, I've had comments that I need new tires. But these things only had about 10,000 miles on it. And there was never any tread on the outside. So they're good. They're good. Thanks for looking out for me, though. Can't you get that off of there? Not really. You haven't even driven anywhere. Why'd it be so tight? Because I hit the brakes. Oh, wow. So because you applied the brakes with the compressor, now it was like it was stuck on there. Yeah. Hmm. And he's using... Oh, well, everything's always a pain. So he's using this Just little compressor here because Dave had put on the Blue Dot air brake system. So he can test the brakes without hooking up to the truck. When a piston comes out of the caliper, it presses on the inside shoe, which pulls the outside of the caliper. caliper inward and it, and it slides along those pins and if they jam when it goes to release it just stays right there it doesn't relax at all so the extra grease you put in there and hopefully makes it relax but you put grease on it the first time yeah guess I just didn't put enough hmm. so you're repeating all the grease on this one all right Grease in the hole there. It's all rubber bushing in there. Did you put the grease in that way last time? No, I just put it on the pin. That's what I thought. So now you're gonna do both. Yeah. Get a feel for it. All right, now I'm gonna go apply the brakes. All right. And after they're released, it might spin just a little bit tougher, but not real bad. All right. Here comes the brake. Okay, brakes are on. It's rubbing. It's it's spinning, it's just rubbing, but it's a little bit harder, just a tiny bit. I think it's I think it's pretty good. Oh, that's really good. Huh? It stopped though? Yeah. Okay, that's been a good. What what's going on up here? Aw, <laughs> Dave. You gotta wear your bump hat. I mean, it has a little drag. I've never seen one that doesn't. So let's put the wheel. Hopefully, back on problem this side solved. And then we'll see how this rolls. Oh yeah, look at that. Much better, huh? All right, release it. All right, yeah, they're running good. Was that one stuck the worst? Yeah, this one was. And that's the one that you had the rotor crack on you. Right. 
That's when I had to crack the rotor. And what are you going to torque it to? I'm going to torque it to 115. 115. You hear people saying 150, 200, 100, 125. Well, you used to do it at 150, didn't you? Yeah, but that's too much. When we uh, make our first stop, I'll, when we get there, I'll check them just to make sure that everything's still working good. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.